All right, welcome back for part eight. I'm Preposterous Whitey. This is part eight of our Legend of Zelda, a link to the past playthrough for the Super Nintendo. I am here um, after being handily defeated by the Helmosaur King in the Palace of Darkness. I've gone back to the World of Light in order to uh, do some side questy things that I should have done before going to the Dark World so that we can have a little bit of an easier time. So first, while I'm here at this witch's hut, I'm going to go ahead and give her the mus magic mushroom so later we can come back and she'll give us some magic powder, which um, isn't terribly useful, but you can use it for a few different things. So, figured while we're in the area, we might as well stop in for that. Kill some guards, shatter some rocks, you know, the usual business. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, <clears throat> like I said, do some side questy things before we head back to the Palace of Darkness, either later in this video. Actually, yeah, fuck it. We're gonna go ahead and kill that bastard by the end of this video. That's my vow. That Helmosaur King will pay for what he's done to my dignity, making me suffer my first actual death on my LP channel, I believe. No. <clears throat> well, I had some older LPs where I died handily, but on this channel, this is my first death, I believe. So, he must pay for what he's done. Now you guys don't think I'm Master Hardcore Gamer anymore. Luckily, this is Dual Wield Gaming, where our, our motto is that we relax and play classic games. We don't necessarily beast them, we don't do 100% walkthroughs. We just, we have a good time, we sit back, and we play what we want. That's the point of this channel. So right now we're going to look for the Zora King, who will sell us some flippers. I hope I have enough money. I think they're 500 rupees, I'm not sure. But he's going to sell us some flippers so that we can jump into deep water without just getting sent back like that. Because I need that in order to get a bottle, which is one of the things that I want to have to be prepared for the Helmosaur King. We can honestly stand to have some more hearts, but... I'm not going to make you guys watch me hunt down heart pieces. I want the flippers 500 rupees, yes! Alright, so now that we have these, we can we can swim around in the deep water. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to get that bottle. I just, I went to get that bottle and I realized, oh hey, I can't even swim in this game yet. Go me! Ooh, in fact, we're going to get a heart piece over here. wonder how many we have so far. All right, so we have an extra heart. We have eight hearts to face off the Helmosaur, face off against the Helmosaur King with. That's not too bad. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. That way, we can have eight hearts, and we can have two bottles, each with fairies. That way, when we die, because we will die... He will kill us. That way you don't have to watch me start the fight over and do it all over again. Man, these... <laughs> you know, I was talking last episode about how in A Link Between Worlds it's kind of a nice healthy medium between the classic Zelda games and the new ones. It's still um, enemies in at least normal mode. In hero mode they do tons of damage, but in normal mode... Man, I'm just not used to enemies doing this much damage to me with one hit, running into a crab and it taking two hearts away from me. I really gotta step up my game. As I've mentioned before, this is... I'm a relatively new Let's Player, so try to forgive my transgressions. I haven't quite nailed the art of talking constantly and playing video games yet. I can I can do I can do one or the other pretty well. I can hold a good conversation or I can <laughs> or I can play a game and I can do either of those fairly well on their own. But I'm still new at this. I'm still learning how to do both of them at the same time effectively. So bear with me guys. I hope I get better as time goes on. I've watched I watched let's plays in my free time obviously, or else this probably wouldn't have occurred to me to do, but um, I watch Let's Plays in my free time, and when you go back and you view someone's older videos, even if they're a really popular Let's Player, most of the time, the older videos, they won't be nearly as good at either of those things right off the bat, so 
I'm hoping, hoping that's a sign that I don't have to be too terribly worried about my skill level yet. What's down here? I forget. Let's find out. Is it going to be a piece of heart? Or is it just a fairy fountain? Oh, it's a great fairy, and then... Okay, so it's just a great fairy? Okay. I mean, that's cool and all. I never really found the great fairies all that useful, since all they do is... Uh, all they do is restore your hearts. And if you walk around and just slash some bushes, you can do that yourself. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, still have this cold. Haven't quite kicked it yet. I have... I've had this cold since... Jesus. Pretty much since I started doing Let's Plays again. Uh, even a little before that. I was planning on relaunching my channel back when I did videos on the channel Mystical Slacker before I joined forces, forces with my friend Red for Dual Wield Gaming. I've, uh, but anyway, it actually delayed my relaunch, and because I didn't think anyone wanted to hear me constantly cough into a microphone, I think either the second to last episode from this, or the third to last, one of those, I think you guys <laughs> at one point did have to hear me cough, so apologies for that, but I mean, I'm sick, I can't really help it. I can't just not cough the entire time I do a video. When you have a cough, uh, when you have a cold, sometimes it's hard to go 15 to 20 minutes without coughing a single time. It can be challenging. I have it hard, man. Hard life of Whitey. So we're gonna talk to this guy sleeping beneath this bridge in a in a tent, I guess. Well, he's near a tent. Why did he even bring that tent along if he's not gonna sleep inside of it? I don't know. So we're gonna talk to him, and he knows us somehow, and we're gonna go ahead and take his bottle and fill it up with a fairy so that we can return to the Helmosaur King and rock his world, because I think we were only a few hits away from finishing him in the last video, so having yet another full set of hearts from fairy recovery, that should be a great boon to our success. So we gotta stop by a fairy fountain. And we gotta get some, we gotta get some fairies first, because <laughs> they're not gonna just grow on trees. I believe there's a fairy fountain near Link's house, near Whitey's house, if you would, if you will. But um, anyway, I just completed a Link Between Worlds, like I was talking about earlier, and uh, I already told you that I was greatly impressed by it and everything, but. One thing I forgot to mention is, I actually did pretty well at that game. <laughs> There's this side quest where you have to find a hundred of these little shell creatures. Um, a little bit like the shell side quest in Link's Awakening, if you've played that. But these are actually little living creatures, and each one, each, uh, each time you get ten of them, you can upgrade one of your items. You can up a, a level. It was a really cool little side quest, and I completed that side quest. Uh, I'm normally, as you guys, as I've told you guys, I'm normally not like a completionist. I normally don't finish side quests like find a billion of whatever, because I, they just don't hold my interest. But man, I enjoyed that game so much that I went around and I hunted down every last one of those 100 bastards, and get a pretty cool thing for doing it. I'm not going to spoil it for you because that game has only been out a week. <laughs> I've already blown through, but it's only a week old, so I want to give you guys the chance to experience it for yourselves without fearing spoilers, because, I mean, I really want to talk about some story things in that game, because there's some really... I mean, normally people don't play Zelda games for their story, necessarily, but there's some... the story in that game. It's pretty interesting when it happens, which isn't very much. It's still a very minimalist story, like you see in a lot of Zelda games. Like, there's not a whole lot of actual plot and development. But what's there is pretty interesting. Pretty, uh... Kind of some cool new stuff that you don't see in Zelda games very often. Anyway, I'd like to talk about it more in depth, but... I don't want to... 
it's not a very old game. I don't even think it's out in certain territories yet. So I don't want to spoil it for people, because that would be mean. I would hate it if someone did that to me. It's like, oh, I'm going to watch this Let's Play of a 21-year-old game, because there's not going to be any spoilers that, you know, any recent spoilers in that. And then I go ahead and I spoil a game that's only a week old. That'd be an asshole move. At least I think so. So, we, I vowed to kill the Helmosaur King, the man who vanquished us, by the end of this video. I'm going to make good on that promise. I'm going to put this bastard in the ground. Do I say that a lot? I feel like I say that a lot. If you're a diehard fan of this channel, somehow, after there only being, like, 8 to 10 videos on it, if you're somehow already a diehard fan of this channel, do me a favor, go back and count how many times I say I'm going to put a bastard in the ground, because I feel like it's a lot. It's really strange, because I don't feel like I even say that in my everyday life. I just say it here. When you... I mean, I guess what I'm learning about Let's Play is that even though, you know, you're... When you're recording, you're just kind of trying to be yourself. Um, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily going to happen. <laughs> Anytime that you know you're being recorded, you know that people can hear you, and you're not just by yourself, it can be hard to be yourself. Uh, sometimes you don't succeed in that. Uh, I just realized that I could have gotten fairies here. Oh well. That was a... <laughs> I'll go ahead and use the excuse that that was a good opportunity to go ahead and show off where that fairy fountain was. But anyway... You're not necessarily always going to be 100% like you are alone if you know that you're being recorded, either just your voice or by a camera. Uh, it's just something in your mind changes when you know that other people can hear you. And so what I'm learning is that even though I'm trying to be myself, talk like myself, I'm still gonna... I'm still developing these weird things that I say every time you guys are watching this. It's kind of neat. I learned something about myself. I learned that even I, I am not immune to that little, that little curse. Well, not necessarily a curse, but that little effect of life. So we're gonna try to do some backtrack into the Helmosaur King's lair without getting hit too much, because Obviously, if I... <laughs> I don't want to get killed again. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with using fairies. I've never had a problem with that, but... I don't want to actually die again. So, I'm going to try to make it to him without letting these turtles take too much of my health. It'd probably be easier if I brightened up the room a little. It's, it's easier to fight enemies when you can see them. Oh, uh, one more. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna be overjoyed if I can make it to him with full hearts. Just a little further. What was it, this block? Come on, I literally did this like ten... <laughs> well, probably by now, about ten minutes ago. But, would have been sad if I hadn't been able to figure that out. Damn it, I lost hearts. I'm a failure. I was hoping one of them would have a heart, but no. Alright, so... We're one heart down, but hopefully we can still do this. Just concentrate, Whitey. Concentrate. Concentrate like at the end of Troll 2 when they have to touch that wall and concentrate to kill that witch. <laughs> Spoilers for Troll 2. I'm gonna try to spoil only things that are several decades old. <laughs> I think Troll 2 is several decades old. It might only be like 15 years. But either way, it's not like I'm sitting here spoiling, I don't know, what just came out in cinemas recently, like Hunger Games Catching Fire. Although most of the people who would care about that have already read the book anyway, and so spoilers wouldn't mean much to them anyway, though. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm gonna try to keep the spoilers to a minimum. For more recent stuff. Wow! I actually made it through this this time without getting killed at all. 
I think last time when I came in I had really low hearts. So, it wasn't too sad. So we've got our first Dark World heart container, bringing our total hearts up to nine. And we've gotten the first crystal, which contains the first descendant of the wise men who were later renamed in, like, the Game Boy Advance version and just the general canon to the Seven Sages. So, this girl, she's a maiden that we have to rescue, and she is a descendant of the Seven Sages. Um, not... I need to read my Hyrule Historia book, the big book with the Zelda timeline and canon outlined in it, because I'm not sure if at this point those seven sages that they're referring to are the ones from Ocarina of Time, but I'm not sure. I think that they're at least connected in some way, but not sure. Honestly, not sure. There's a lot of canon to contend with in the Zelda games nowadays. Even though the games themselves don't have much story in them, there's a lot more story going on on the outside that fans keep track of. Alright, so we've defeated our first Dark World Temple, and we've gotten a couple of little tiny side quest things done. I'd call that a good video, so thanks for joining us for Part 8 of Zelda A Link to the Past. This is Preposterous Whitey signing off. I'll see you in the next video.